Lubaba TV. Welcome, and this is Lubaba TV, and this is another good day that we meet here in our, our channel, that we have another visitors to talk to, to share some stories and to talk about something that they are interested here in Tanzania. And I have three brothers here who are the visitors, and we will talk some few things concerning Tanzania and, and some other things that they like here. Welcome, brothers. Thank you very much. First three... Karibuni. Karibuni. Do you know the meaning of Karibuni? Yes. yes. When you say welcome to a group of people. Ah, sure, sure. So first, year, I would like you to introduce yourself. You introduce your name, where you're from, and why you're here in Tanzania. Because people, they want to know why you're here in Tanzania. Yeah, uh, my name is Simon. I am uh, 20 years old, and I uh, come from uh, Denmark. And the, um, I am here in Tanzania because of the lovely weather and the lovely people. Okay, welcome. Karibu sana. Asante sana. And brother, you can introduce yourself here. Uh, my name is Kelle and I'm also from Denmark. I'm traveling in Tanzania for um, looking at the beautiful nature and also just to experience the people and the culture. So welcome, Sana. Asante, Sana. And brother here? My name is Eigel, and I'm also from Denmark, and uh, we had three friends traveling together for cultural experiences and enjoying the lovely country of Tanzania. Karibuni, Sana. Asante, Sana. Uh, in front of you here, I've seen the beers. And if I read the beers, I can see it's Barimi and Safari. What's so special about this beer? Why did you choose to have this beer? Um, we just went to the Balimi market today here in Mwanza and we heard that um, there was also a Balimi beer and then of course we had to try it. The beers in Tanzania have, have been great. So this is your first time you want to try it for the first time? Yes, it is our first time. So I, I hope you enjoy our Mwanza vibe also. Oh yeah. <laughs> also first thing I would like also to know, this is your first time to be in Africa and if not Note, how many countries have you been in Africa so far? I have, this is my first time in Africa. I have never been in Africa before this. So, so this is your first time? My first time, yes. And for you, brothers? Yes, uh, this is uh, also my first time here in uh, yeah, Africa. Ah, okay, welcome, Sana. And you? I've been to Morocco once for, for three years ago. And it was, it was great, but it was very different than Tanzania. What is the difference between Morocco and Tanzania? I think uh, Morocco is an, more of an Arabic country, so the culture is different, the food is also a bit different, and yeah, that's, yeah the culture is a bit different, so. but both great, of course. Wow. And why did you choose Tanzania? Why did you choose Tanzania for the first time? What, because Africa is big, there are a lot of countries. What so special did you choose in, to come in Tanzania and who was the first person to tell you about Tanzania? Well, I think it was because that Tanzania is such a big country so we could go to like, we could go to the ocean, we could go to the mountains, we could go on the savanna and we could go to the lake. So we could see a lot of things during like these five weeks we're here and it's almost like traveling on a whole continent but in one country and we thought that was a great uh, a great possibility so when you so what were, why what made you to choose Tanzania specifically because there are a lot of countries how did you know Tanzania I think I think it's because in Denmark we used to have a very uh, strong uh, relationship with Tanzania and uh, Mostly our parents' generation, many of them used to travel here in the 1980s. Um, so I think our par parents speak very fond of, uh, of Tanzania. So that's the reason why I think I was affected. And in any of your families, have, is there any person who came, have already come in Tanzania? Uh, actually, my uh, uh, your c c cousin have uh, been to a Zanzibar here uh, a year ago, I think. So, um, yeah. Uh, and you, brother? Uh, my uncle was here for about uh, 10 years ago, also on a safari trip. So he told us about that, and then we were uh, yeah, blown away about how, how the whole experience sounded. Uh, both my cousin and my aunt, and uh, we also have a very close friend uh, who actually been here for like two years ago, and he has also been spoken very uh, so fun. How they've influenced you to be in Tanzania? Yeah. You have said you have been here in Tanzania for five weeks. How many places have you already visited here in Tanzania? 
we have been to Dar es Salaam and uh, and uh, yeah, we have been to Stone Town on uh, yes Sensbar and we have been to Nungui and then we have uh, uh, spent a, a little time in uh, uh, Russia and uh, we have been on the safari trip to the Serengeti and the Ngorogoro crater yes and uh, then we uh, traveled here to a um, once uh, to, to 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 like see the uh, beautiful big Victoria uh, Lake. So far, what's your favorite place in Tanzania so far? I think, uh, of course, the nature in the Serengeti and the Ngorogoro Goro crater, and also we've been to Moshi to see the um, the mountain, yeah, Kilimanjaro, of course, and uh, but I think. As far as the city goes, I think Mwanza has been the best because um, it isn't as touristy as some of the other places where in um, Arusha there were you, you can see a lot of like uh, souvenir shops and not as many like local places where here in Mwanza it feels like a more authentic experience. So Mwanza is our favorite. So Mwanza is still your favorite place? And you want to see your favorite place? Yes, I would say so because it is so beautiful with the lake and the nature, all these different kinds of birds and different animals. Uh, and also just people are very nice, they are very chill and friendly and welcoming. So uh, I think I would enjoy it a lot here. I would say so too, yeah. Mm. Uh, and I would like to know something. Have you ever tried Tanzanian dishes? Any Tanzanian dishes? We tried the pilau from a couple of weeks ago and then every day since, or not every day, but almost, and it's so good. You can eat it with everything, all, all the stews and fish fish dishes and stuff, so Ask pilau is great. Pilau is a great, yeah. your favorite. Yes, it is. Yeah, I think pilau was very great. We also tried something called ugali. ugali. I think, yeah, it was also very nice and it it's something that we don't have in Europe, so uh, it was nice to try. Between Europe and yeah. tried Ugari and which sauce I mean? Uh, I think it was with a chicken stew or something like uh, that. So it yeah. was very nice. It was very nice, definitely. Okay. Now you have been in Tanzania for almost five weeks, right? Yes. Do you know anything about Swahili? Have you ever read anything about Swahili? At least you can talk to two sentences or one sentence. Uh, uh, our uh, boy, uh, vocabulary is uh, is is uh, yeah, uh, still uh, very small, but uh, yeah, we have tried to uh, learn learn some a uh, yeah, few words so we can come uh, communicate. Yes. So. I would also like to know, you know, when you want to go somewhere, maybe you want to visit somewhere, then is something that you are most interested to see and what you think, ah, I have to see this. So far, what you expected to see, you have already seen it or it's different to what you have expected to come before? Um, can I ask him? Yeah, well, I think that some of the things I didn't really, I don't think I know, knew how big the country was going to be or how big the lake was going to be or how great the Serengeti was going to be. So I think perhaps we are from a very small country. Uh, so I think like it's the scales of the sizes here. They are much bigger than what I expected. Uh, so you expected maybe to be big but not that much? Not that big, no, no, not at all, not at all. Ah. And have you ever seen other uh, did you experience to see the big five? Yes, we were lucky to see them all. Uh, all of them? All of them yes. That was where, uh, which one was your favorite to see? And what, what was your favorite? I mean, what was your favorite animal between big five? Yeah, uh, uh, my uh, favorite animal is uh, the the uh, cheetah. So so um, so uh, yeah the yeah. Yeah, yeah, so so uh, yeah, the yeah, che cheetah was the uh, 
Erik, your biggest oh. for uh, me to see. Ah, and you, what were the favorites? I think for me it was the Rhino because I think f we heard that it was like the hardest to see and there were only 24 in the Ngorogoro crater. So we weren't sure if we were going to see it or not. And then when we finally saw it, we, we were yeah very happy to ah. see it. And you, what was the favorite and which also, one did you want to see? Also the rhino or kifaro, I think it's called in Swahili. Ah, sure, sure. Kifaro. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, that was the one I hoped to see and we were lucky enough to see it, so. And so far, what was your best experience here in Tanzania and what was your worst experience in Tanzania? Because, you know, when you go somewhere, not always you get a lot of good things, but sometimes you get the challenges and something like that. So, what was your... Best moment and what was the worst moment till now? I think something for me that was uh, kind of both actually was the Dala Dala experiences because it was great to experience how the local people travel and it's also very cheap and you can travel far distances but it's uh, sometimes very cramped and then could be like uh, very different from Denmark at least but it was a great experience so that is like kind of both yeah. for me. And you, brother? Yeah. I would uh, p probably say that the um, the uh, yeah, like the uh, best experiences. Uh, I yeah, think will be like the uh, beaches on the uh, yes yeah, Zanzibar. They were absolutely amazing. Uh, yes. Like the, the yeah, yeah, it's a uh, very, 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 very uh, beautiful island. Okay, and your brother here? Well, I will think I will probably say the safari because it was really, really nice with all the animals and the nature was just outstanding. Um, and I think the worst place, which which wasn't that bad, that uh, that was probably Arusha because it was a bit colder than I thought. <laughs> So it was cold and you thought maybe it would be... Is it cold in Denmark? At this uh, time of the year it's actually pretty warm, but like the other nine months of the year it's very so cold. you escaped the cold then you found it here. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Do you... are you a music fan? Yes, we like music. You like music? Yes. So far have you ever listened to Tanzanian music? Uh, I think we've listened to the Mampo. Mampo VP, no. that that one, and then um, some like uh, Afro beats and also something that sounded a bit like reggaeton, mm -hmm. like a Southern American or South American style. But with I don't know many, many names of the artists. Do you know any name, even one, even a single name, a, a Tanzanian artist? Any of you knows even a single name of a Tanzanian artist? Mm. No, but I think we uh, know a song called Nakupenda or something. Nakupenda. Yeah, something like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you really like most of this? Well, I've, I've heard that Nakupenda means something like I love you or something. So I don't really understand the words, but I can. I think that it is probably a very beautiful song <laughs> and very romantic, probably. <laughs> do, you, do you have one of your favorites? Yeah, I think also the E in Nakupenda is my game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know the artist's name. And who is the favorite artist there in Denmark for you? Um, I would say uh, Rasmus Seebach is a big one for me. He has like classic pop and um, he's like the best within the genre for Danish music. Ah, is it? Yeah, I've, I think maybe uh, Brødrene Olsen is uh, the b b biggest for me, yes. Ah, and you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, I think Branko. <laughs> he changed the music scene in uh, in Denmark. Ah, so, so he was yeah, and he he writes uh, some very classical. So. I think there, I think there is big competition in, in music there because yeah. I have seen all of them. All of you, yeah. you like different artists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so by concluding, we would also like to know. Um, what challenge did you face here in Tanzania? What was the biggest challenge that you did you face in Tanzania? And if you could have the chance to change, you could t have the ch to change that. What was the biggest challenge in Tanzania? I think for me it has been the language barrier because I would like to speak a, 
a bit more Swahili so I could like interact with the local people and uh, catch the bus easier, easier or the train or order some food and maybe just uh, talk to people when I'm at the bar or something like that. But the language sometimes it's a big barrier. Yeah, it is difficult. Yeah, I think uh, the biggest problem for me has been uh, like the lack of uh, your t t t your t t toilet paper. Uh. Yeah, because sometimes it, it has just not uh, been in there. And so it's different between here and, and the one which you did in Denmark. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, yeah, <laughs> here uh, when um, uh, you uh, go to a, a lot of uh, like uh, um, uh, yeah, pub, public uh, yeah, 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 then then uh, yeah, the day I just know a get toilet paper. Yeah, so yeah, because most when you go to the stand, you go to anywhere, you cannot find the toilet. Paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that was the and the other challenge maybe? Uh, do you have a challenge? I have, do you have a challenge? Uh, no, I think the language too, because it's so different. Uh, so no, I don't think I, we don't have we didn't have that many problems here at all. Um, so no, not at all. I think yeah, the language. If I should say something, then the language, yeah. Okay, thank you for your time, brother, because people, they wanted to listen from you, from people who come here in Tanzania, what they like and what they, they're interested to see here. Thank you for your time, and I really enjoyed to see you, and I have enjoyed to stay with you. And thank you for accepting to have this interview. Of course. <coughs>